some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in California with a, well, pair of soft tards who get pulled over due to no license plate and, uh, well, still end up getting ticketed no matter how many times they repeat the same old tired soft tard arguments. And don't forget to stick around till the very end and we'll watch something about, well, uh, an incident that occurred here in Florida that uh, involved a uh, Moorish national soft tard who himself hailed from Fresno, California. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How are you? Wonderful. How are you? What's the emergency? The reason I stopped you is you have no license plate on your car, and you also were going above the speed limit. Okay. In case you had about 52 and the speed limit was 40. Do you have your driver's license, registration, and insurance? No. It, do you have a signed warrant or probable cause proving that I committed a crime? Now, first things first, uh, there's a lot of jump cuts in this video, so... Yeah, it might be the fact that this soft art is trying to hide something from everybody. So a very suspicious tactic right there. And then there's the issue of... Then there's the little matter of California law where you're supposed to have your driver's license when you operate a motor vehicle on the public roadways and present it to the officer upon request at a traffic stop. The officer doesn't need a warrant to see your driver's license at a traffic stop, you gibbering idiot. You committed a crime. With a victim? Yes. You Who's the victim? You committed two violations. Who is the victim of what crime? You violated two vehicle codes. No. You did. That's not a crime. So if you run a red light, it's not a crime. But what happens if you run that red light and you end up, uh, well, unaliving somebody because you thought no victim, no crime. Well, dude, uh, it's far too late. That's why those laws exist, you freaking moron. So in that case, you have just violated my Fourth Amendment right. You have violated my Fourth Amendment right by forcing my car off the road and approaching me with force of arms. Are you uh, where does it say that uh, in the Fourth Amendment, dude? Because... Well, it covers unreasonable searches and seizures of your uh, possessions and property and everything like that. It says nothing about the bullshit that you just spouted off. So, yeah, it leaves me wondering how much you know about the frickin' law or anything else for that matter. Failing to identify yourself to me? Yes. For my safety, I'm going to assert my Fifth Amendment right. For your safety, I'm going to provide you with Don't my affidavit of status. Stuff. Don't start reaching for stuff. This is my affidavit of status. Everything I need to say to you is in this sworn affidavit. Okay. Don't start reaching for stuff. Okay, you are being detained. You've committed two vehicle code violations. You are being legally detained. Are you refusing to identify yourself? All of the information I need to say to you is in that sworn affidavit. Okay. Well, I'm going to have you step out of the car for me. Buddy? No. Well, we need an attorney? They're not going to do anything. Let me speak to your supervisor, please. Oh no! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 I've not been given a lawful order. I've not committed any crime. You do not have you a have signed a warrant. On your vehicle? That is not a crime. There is no victim. It's a vehicle code violation. The state of California is a victim. Right, that, that does not apply. If you read my affidavit of status, you'll see that that does not apply. So, failure to obey the lawful command is a violation of Penal Code 148. Okay, which is also does not apply. It does. I'm not a United States citizen. Okay. So what makes you so damn special that you don't have to obey the laws of the country that you're in at that very moment? Let's see you try this in, say, oh, uh, North Korea? Well... Yeah, they would really love you long time there. In fact, I do believe that the moment that you said that to one of the nice little police officers over there, that you would probably be uh, face-planted right onto the ground and sent to one of their many beautiful gulags 
near the Chinese border. Or better yet, try it in Russia, where you'll uh, get sent to prison because you don't want to obey their laws and wind up in a situation where you're given two choices, where you can uh, serve life in prison or go fight in a war against Ukraine. I mean, which one would you choose? It does apply. You're in California, the city of Laguna Beach. Yes. Okay. So, we need you to step out. No. If you fail to step out, we are going to forcibly break your window and remove you from the vehicle and you're going to go to jail. I would like to talk with your supervisor. supervisor. Okay, well, if, if that's what you want to do, then you will break multiple laws. No. No. Right. Well, Everything I need to say is in the sworn affidavit. Okay. Have you read that? I haven't. Well... <laughs> I would. It would be who of you if you did. Why? It would save us a lot of trouble. Okay. Do you have your license? No, I don't. Okay. You're also required to provide that. Nope. Or... I provided you with my affidavit of status. Oh. So is this a sovereign citizen ordeal? Absolutely not. I am not a citizen. What are you? I am a man. Everything I need to say to you in that sworn affidavit, I'm done answering you questions. Okay. You know, uh, most of this video is just him repeating the same old BS ad nauseum. I mean, I could cut out 20 minutes of this 40-minute video, and it would you would not miss a damn thing. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this thing way down. Five minutes later. Whatever we're going to do. I've told you who I am. But then you to be on your way. I've told you who I am. Everything is in that sworn affidavit. You can, you can look me up. I'm just telling you, we need to positively identify you with your driver's license. You can move on with this whole process, and then you can be on I, your I, way. I do not have a driver's license because I am not driving commercially. Okay, so you don't have a driver's license. Hey, you lead paint tricking soft art. Have you ever bothered to look on the uh, California DMV website and see the different classifications for driver's licenses? Uh, if you didn't, uh, you, then you should, because then you would uh, take note that there is a distinction between commercial and non-commercial driver's licenses. So that kind of defeats the argument right there that you have that you're not driving for commercial purposes when uh, there are driver's licenses that are not for commercial purposes. Try, try again, you freaking gibbering moron. Not on me, no. Okay. But you gave my officers your name and date of birth. Yes, it is in the sworn affidavit that you said that you read over. But your date of birth is not on there. It's just your name. Okay, my date of birth is April 18th, 1995. April 18th, 1995. Okay. Have you ever been arrested before, been in any trouble, anything like that? Yes, I have. Okay, what was that for? Trespassing. Trespassing. For not wearing a mask. How long ago was that? last year, or two years ago. Okay. April 18th, 1995. Yes. Okay. Why are you being so difficult about this? Uh, You've already been on your way. You're cute. If you weren't wanted for like murder or anything. And your bin is covered. So we can't even figure out this car because you have no license plate. You have no license plate on your car and your VIN is covered. So mm -hmm. you're identifying this car. How do we know it's not stolen? Mm, I don't know. How do you? Hmm. So now I have reasonable suspicion that you could potentially be driving a stolen vehicle. <laughs> do you? I do. You're looking up my name. You'll see that it's registered to me. I don't know if this car is registered to you. I don't know what the license plate is for it. I don't know what the VIN is for it. I don't even know who you are because you don't even have any... I have provided you with my sworn affidavit and that's everything you need is in there. It's not though. Okay. Well then you don't need it. We're trying to make this as easy as possible. Yes you are. It's gonna that's end up coming been made clear. To us having... Okay, okay, you know what the, uh, people? Change of plan. This particular traffic stop is long, boring, and annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward to the end where he gets his traffic tickets, I'm going to show you that uh, bonus clip as far as that other more soft hard goes. And then I'm going to play a uh, Sovereign Citizen rest from another video. That way, we all get to see one and put in handcuffs. So, let's carry on, shall we? 
I'm going to have to do some studying and cite some case law and cite the fact that I am not a citizen and you guys do not have jurisdiction over me and I committed no crime and there are no witnesses, there's no victims, there's, there's been no crime committed. And then do you keep the cameras in the car in no. case this happens? No, I create content for a living. Okay. Yeah. What kind of content? Lifestyle content. Health, fitness, life. Yeah. Yeah, I would suggest that you stick to that rather than this because you're probably a bit more uh, knowledgeable in health and fitness than you are in the law because in the short time that I've been uh, watching this video, I've already pointed out numerous flaws with your reasoning. So, yeah, uh, I don't think you'd win at a court. The date printed on your ticket. I'll, I'll sign on the physical ticket. You have to sign on here. Uh, no, I'll I'll sign on the physical ticket. So if you're refusing to sign, that's you indicating that you want to go straight to seeing a judge, which means we have to take you into custody right now. So I'm, trying to avoid taking I'm not to refusing to sign. Okay, so am am I being issued sign. a citation? Yes, you are. Can I see that citation? The copy of the citation. We can even print out a copy with your signature on it. Is that what you're requesting? Cool. So, yeah, th this I will okay, sign. Hear me out. If so you sign that thing, we'll print a out a copy prints, with your signature you on it. Have you the okay. E yeah. We'll sign the, the gene first, and then we'll do that. Okay. So you need to... Where's the little vice? Just sign in the gray area, and it has to be your legal signature. Uh-huh. Yeah, it looks real great. Kind of fat fingers, huh? Yeah, that's not working well. And that's your legal signature when you got your driver's license? That's... <laughs> That's that's what you get on on that thing. No, so it's supposed to be your legal signature. I have a copy of it back there when you got your driver's license. Okay. It's on your Cal photo. Okay. This is not your legal signature. So I'm going to clear this and I'm going to give you one more opportunity <laughs> to sign with your legal signature. Okay? You failing to do so again, then that just means you want to go see a judge because you're failing to give your legal signature. Okay, so we're gonna clear. How this. how are you gonna tell me what That's my signature not, is? Because it's not. It's when you got your driver's license, your signature. You use that is your legal signature. Uh huh. So I need you to use your legal signature from when you got your driver's license. Right. We'll we'll do it again. Okay. Written in a distinct form. Name written in a distinct form that is used to identify yourself or provide authorization on important documents. It can okay. be a series of squiggles, a picture, or even a traditional. Yeah, for they're people just who can't read or write. It's so your signature right here is on your affidavit, sir, that you gave us, and that is not what that looks like. So it has to be your legal signature. Your legal signature is on this affidavit you gave to us, and this is not your signature. It's on my body cam. This is not your legal signature, okay? What What about that is not legal? I don't know. One more, I'm going to clear it one more time. Otherwise, you're going to be taken into custody at that point, and we're not going to go the misdemeanor route anymore. And you're going to actually go to jail, and you're going to see a judge. It's not an admission of guilt, dude. It's just a promise to appear or to take care of this. Uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm not trying to fuck with you guys. It, it seems like you are. So it has to be your legal signature. It seems like you're trying to fuck with us. No, I, we've actually <laughs> been very patient. Go ahead and sign if you want to look at this. Just Types as a reminder of legal, of your signatures. legal signature. That works too. It constitutes a signature. Right. Here's a copy of that. Make sure you put a license plate on your car. Otherwise, you're going to continue to get stopped. We'll remove that uh, piranha from your What's a piranha? Like, what do I do with this? Okay then, uh, well at least you got off with a couple traffic tickets and all that. I mean, could be worse. You could have been this guy in Florida that I'm about to present that ended up getting unalived because he decided to play F around and find out. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? A Fresno woman now says she wants to meet with deputies in the state of Florida to apologize. That is after her son, a former Fresno State student, was killed in a shootout while trying to kill deputies in Florida. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Alessio shares what one Florida sheriff is saying about that shootout and the impact his time at Fresno State had on his state of mind. Sophia? 
Those in Monty, 26-year-old Karen Campbells, who went by KMAC Elbay, claimed that he was part of a Moorish sovereign citizen. And when deputies from Polk County approached him Saturday, he told them that it was his right to not give them his identification. And sheriffs say that KMAC was radicalized while he was here at Fresno State. Just after midnight Saturday, 26-year-old Karen Cables, who went by KMAC Elbay, was approached by deputies just outside of Tampa, Florida. They were looking for burglars at a park, and since KMAC Elbay was at the park after hours, deputies asked him to show his ID, but he refused. That's when Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said a deputy noticed KMAC was dressed in an all-white religious outfit and called for backup when he wasn't cooperating. His car started rolling, they grabbed the window, and all of a sudden, he started shooting. That's what extremism will get you right there. Uh, a one-way ticket to being unalived in such a manner. He certainly is not the first one to uh, go by that way as far as the sovereign citizen movement goes. And he certainly isn't the last. And this guy in the video previous to this, well, if he continues down this road, he may end up, well... Well, hopefully not being like this guy, but let's just, I will just say that it won't be pleasant for him if he act, uh, does this on the wrong day and uh, things go south. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Who knows? You may end up like this guy in this uh, classic Sovereign Citizen video right here. Of, well, him uh, getting arrested because of his own stupidity. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we've got a more sovereign citizen, or as he likes to call himself, a naturally born indigenous person who seems to have no idea how any of the laws work. In fact, he's got his own set of laws he goes by, and he refuses to cooperate with the cops and ends up with his window smashed out and getting arrested. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this idiot spew out his word salad. Yes. Am I obligated to do that? Excuse me. Is that a law, sir? Am I obligated to do that? Why can't you do that? I'm not obligated by your laws. What's that? I'm not obligated by your laws. You, you see my status on my license plate? I'm a natural born indigenous person to this land. Right. Okay, Mr. Naturally Born Indigenous Person, you are still in the United States and you still have to follow the laws of the country. You're nothing special, you're just another lunatic out there who thinks he knows all the laws. But you're about to find out that you don't know Jack. What's that? I'm a natural born indigenous person to this land. Okay, I'm not an artificial person. Down. I'm not obligated to do so, sir. I need to see your driver's license registration. I'm not required to uh, give you a driver's license, but I do I do have some information for you though, sir. That's my identification. And and you are being audio recorded and video recorded for quality purposes. Well, now, that's a new one on me. I've never heard of a quality purposes traffic stop. When was that invented? What happens if you're not fully satisfied uh, with your traffic stop? Do you get a, uh, a consolation prize of some sort? Is it a new window for your car? Because you're going to be needing that fairly soon. Just sit tight. This is what they do? They must not know the law. I thought they did. But they must not. Well, they're going to learn today. <laughs> oh, they're going to learn today. Yeah, you better serve, buddy. See if you know the law. He didn't like He didn't like that I declared my status already. And then, then I served his ass with the delegation of authority. I don't think you even know what delegation of authority is, considering that the only reference I could find to it so far was pretty much a manager's ability to delegate tasks 
for a division of labor purposes within a group or a community. So I'm thinking that you're one of these idiots that just finds something that sounds cool but never bothers to look up anything on the topic. Oh. Morons. <laughs> yes, sir. You have date of birth there, sir? I'm not obligated to answer any of your questions, sir. I don't consent to you taking any private numbers off my vehicle, sir. That's unlawful. You know that, right? Citation needed, please. That's against your oath of office? Oh, you don't care? Excuse me, what's your name, sir? Your badge number? It's Officer Bartles, 3299. I'll say it loud so you can hear me. I, oh, I heard you. I got it on the record. What's your name, I'll sir? Ask you one more time what your date of birth is. I'm not obligated to answer any so of your questions. You're not going to answer my questions? Yeah, um, where's your delegation of authority signed by okay, Congress? Then I need you to step out of the vehicle. Please. I'm not okay, obligated to step out of the vehicle. You are. What law? What law have I broken? What's that? What law you're have I broken? My investigation. No, you're. Ah, yes, the delegation of authority signed by Congress. You know, I think you got that confused with something else. So, citation needed right there. I'm going to need it because clearly you are a. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Hindering my right to travel. Okay, you need to step out of the vehicle. I, I don't, I'm not obligated to step out the vehicle. Step it's, out of the vehicle. I'm not obligated to step out the vehicle, sir. If you're gonna use force, then let it be known for the record. Okay, let it be known. I ask you for your date of birth. I'm not okay, obligated to give you, you out of here. You have no. Then you know what? Well, the, okay. You're violating your oath of office. You took over office. You took over office, office, right? I'm not. Would you? Then where's your delegation of authority of signed by Congress? Yeah. Boy, you could tell this guy went all the way down the rabbit hole after he drank the lead paint, and he definitely kissed his brain goodbye, because that soft, tarred Kool-Aid is a hell of a drink. Thus, there is no way he can come back from this stupidity without significant surgery to his damaged brain. Me your date of I have a right to demand a delegation of authority. Have right you have no rights. You're a public servant. Plates are not on there, and they're not supposed to be I'll, on there. What are you talking about? Okay. It's legal. It's legal for me to have private plates on a private vehicle. Produce some documentation oh. that you have regular tag donor. I asked you for that before. I'm not. I'm not obligated to have. Theory. I'm not obligated to have okay. state tags, sir. You're 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 Give acting real your disrespectful. Tags. You're acting out of law. Give me your tags. Out of. I know that you got registered in the state of Pennsylvania. I, I don't. Ha I'm not obligated to have my private personal vehicle contracted with any corporation of yours. Okay, that's fine. Well, then you go to I'm, jail here when when I give you citations and you fail to knock them. Okay. Don't listen to them. You know, okay. Supreme Court you is the rule of the land. The you want. Oh yeah, you're right. They just been served legal documents. They're ignoring them. That paperwork that you probably printed off of a sovereign citizen website isn't worth the paper it's written on. In fact, it's just going to get you into more trouble, and I'm sure a judge will take one look at it and laugh you out of the courtroom. I didn't give you guys consent to search my private vehicle. It's on the record. You don't have the right to touch my private vehicle. They have failed to show their delegation of authority signed by Congress. You don't have consent to search my vehicle. I'm not searching your oh, you, well, you're looking in it. That's searching. I'm, I'm looking in your vehicle. That, well, the legal definition of that is searching. Do you have a law degree, sir? Yes. No, I don't have a law degree, but I practice. I practice law. <laughs> you serious? Yes. It's it's real. So if you Good practice to know. law, you know what I'm doing is not illegal. Oh, it is illegal. I just gave you no consent to search my vehicle. You're looking in my vehicle. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I am looking yeah. in your vehicle. Yeah, you're, you're breaching your contract. The yeah, oath of office you took. Yeah. How yeah. so? How so? What do you mean, how so? You, you want me to read it for you? I, I got everything right here. I got everything. I told you. I studied this stuff. Now, I hate to break it to you like this. Well, I will anyway, just for the hell of it. But all you've been doing is spouting off a bunch of word salad that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Maybe to you, but not to us living in the real world, okay? Yeah, I, I know the law real well. I'm, you guys don't know the law because you're, you're breaching your contract right now. You guys are public yeah, service. How so? Well, I just told you. I read a lot. And what's your name, officer? Sergeant Long. Sergeant Long? Excuse me, sir. 
You know, sir, if you produce some type of identification... I'm not obligated to. Huh? I'm not obligated to. My status is recognized on, on the back of my plate that y'all, well, you guys took off without my consent, which is illegal and breach of your contract. Okay. I know, I know you know. And you, you also know that you're obligated to answer every question. For you, if you produce some type no, it'll be a whole lot better for you to generate revenue for me. I don't belong to your corporate state. It doesn't exist. It's corporate fiction. Neither does the Republic of Pennsylvania. Oh yes, it does. Oh yes, it does. That was wait. That was here before y'all got here. Are you an American citizen, sir? Yeah. I've Are you been sure? Here a lot longer than you. Are you sure? Yeah. You know you're obligated to answer every question and write it down in your oh, wait, narrative report. I'm obligated, but yes. you're not. You're a public servant. You you sworn into the oath of office. Well, wait a minute. Now you want to recognize that as an authority? No, you don't have no authority over me. You're a public servant. But I have to answer your question. Yes, you do. How's, how's that work? How's that work? Simple. It's law. Really? Yeah. Whose law? Law of the land. Law of the land. The supreme law. Yes. Yes, sir. That's just showing that you you guys are incompetent of the law. That's for, I, I don't even have to contract with you guys. I'm not contracting with you guys. Really, I don't even need to sit here and do no business with you. If you really believed in that gibberish, you should have driven off by now. So why don't you go ahead and do that? I mean, if they have no authority over you, nothing is going to happen, right? You guys are incompetent. And if we went to court today, you guys would be found incompetent of the law. Yeah, I know we're myself. Find out. Okay, we will find out. Fine with me? We can take it all the way to Supreme if you want. Okay. That's cool. It won't be the first nor the last. Yep. And guess what the Supreme Court ruling is? It'll be in my favor. Okay. The right to travel as an indigenous person. Rights of indigenous people. We were here before the Europeans came here. You're not American. Definition of American is an indigenous of this land. Okay. You guys came here with the flag of Great Britain so and Europe. you definitely not a, a No, citizen. I'm not a citizen. No, you're right. I'm not a citizen. Okay. I'm a natural born human being. You recognize me as a flesh and blood human being, right? So where are you from? Doesn't matter where I'm from. I could be north northwest of Mexican. That's where I'm from. This is northwest of Africa. A few minutes later. You have no authority to do that, sir. You're gonna be paying for it. You're gonna be paying for it. You have no delegate. Wow. 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 And the video stops right there. And boy, was he totally delusional. And you know what? I would love to have seen this guy in court. I wonder how the judge would have reacted to him. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.